Yo, hello, y'all. Yeah. It's your boy Leon and Tibikudu. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to talk about Suicide Squad, how to pay, y'all. Yeah. It's gonna be quick, but it was an amazing movie, man. It made me appreciate DC for what it is, the legacy it has, you know? Because other medians don't listen to the media. The media outlets, let me put it that way. And you can tell by the way they executed this movie it's r-rated so kids don't be watching this but this movie is amazing y'all it was nice to see some cool ass people like tobias since you're watching black lightning to see the pig since you're watching gotham you know they were just showing the unity of it all and this team tax force x they chose for this mission was suitable i mean like it had a lot of interesting characters Obviously, Deadshot leading the pack, Harley always involved, except the first mission, which was a, a light thing to see, because I feel like I understand why Deadshot is leading the pack, but Harley is like, how does she keep on surviving with just a baseball bat? Because some strong-ass people don't make it out of that, <laughs> that shit, though. Anyway, I really enjoyed the hell out of this movie, seeing Zoom into it, and... Let's talk about Banshee for a second. Banshee's design for this animation. I don't know if people are shitting on this animation, but they shouldn't. I mean, like, this is a step up. It's the DC Universe animation. With the whole Justice League War and all that, you can tell. It has that Young Justice feel to it, which I like. I really like Banshee's practical look. I mean, like, the other medium should pick up on this like if Suicide Squad 2 adds Banshee and the likes I want this practical look because they did give the other members practical looks you know what I'm saying Banshee looked amazing like her design was on par we got to see Doctor Strange which was a delight Vandal Savage oh he was a savage especially what he did to his daughter and he was like ah oh, side over a hundred thousand kids in I haven't learned yet that none of them know respect or some shit like that. Yo, this movie's deep though. Also that girl from Apocalypse who escaped Apocalypse, she's too nice for Apocalypse. She did end up with the bad side, but she was too nice for this whole event and proved the way she she almost got killed. Let's go back to Zoom for a second. Isn't it trippy that it was connected to Flashpoint though? Yo, that was like such a highlight moment. I was like, yo, if you know the Flashpoint animation, this just made your day. I was like, you know, the legacy of this company is amazing. Let's talk about the cast also. The cast was phenomenal. Obviously, they had Tara Strong. I'm a big Tara Strong fan. Yo. Tara Strong was my childhood. Like from OG Ben 10, even Powerpuff Girls. I mean, like she voiced so many. Timmy Turner even. Yo, like, Terra Strong, you gotta give it up. But Harley was fantastic. I mean, like, we got Bronze Tiger, Amanda Waller was amazing, Deadshot, Cobra Head, uh, Captain Boomerang. We even had that Harvey Dent moment. I mean, like, it was amazing, you know? Like, I advise you to go watch it. I give this movie an 8 out of 10 because it was some iffy moment, like the pacing. And there's something wrong with the way they animate them walking. That does not look right to me. But anyway, I really enjoyed the movie. Deuces.